show you guys a little bit about stand store most of you know i love my stand store this is something that's optional but i love it so much that i don't know that i'm getting rid of it the reason i like it is because obviously i offer a lot of different types of things right because i'm all about multiple passive income streams and um, so it's easier to take it put it all here where it's much easier it's separated it's categorized it looks nicer it, you can get everybody from point a to point b to point z with a stand store i love it so this is what mine looks like you can see i have different sections collaborations that's gonna start to build up i'm gonna have a few more of those between now and december i've got my freebies down here where people can come get free stuff i have you know all of my digital not all of but some of my digital plr products i have marketing must-haves these are the systems that i use and notice stand store is one of them it's actually the first one because i have a mad crush on stand store Anyways, you get the point. I can put everything that I have, everything that I use, everything that I promote all in one place. It's very nicely packaged. You can customize it and make it look great. So now that you know why I use it, I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to use it. When you go to a stand store, preferably through my affiliate link, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, no for real though. It does help me out even if you do just do the free one uh, it helps me out if you go through my affiliate link you would go to it it's gonna look like this it's gonna say stand continue log in sign up right so you can find that link in the comment section of this video not the comment section you know what I'm talking about the info section <laughs> and when you come into your stand store this is kind of what it's gonna look like Obviously, you're probably not going to have all of these things built yet, but you're going to come in, you're going to put in your name, you're going to connect all your accounts, you're going to do all of those things. You also have this option right here. You see it says store, and next to that it says edit design. You can click on that, and there are preloaded templates. They're easy peasy. So if you said, oh, I really like this one instead, you can click on that and hit save. And it's going to switch yours over to look like that it's that easy you can say okay well i really like this one but i want it to be these colors instead all you have to do is click on that and it's going to change your whole page look at that would y'all look at that right so it's very easy very user friendly but i'm going to show you a little bit more about how to actually put things into your stand store so if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you will see add product. You're also going to see add section. You don't have to have sections. I just do because obviously there's a lot going in, on in my stand store. Um, so like I have this collaboration section. So I could, we can say add new section. I can click add new section and then I can come hit the little dot, 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 the little snowman edit section and I could put in practice. Put in the name of your section and that's it. It's that easy. And then let's come up with a pretend product. We're going to do add product. Now you can see there's a whole heap ton of options on here. It's like a whole bunch of them. You can do webinars. You can do digital products, custom products, you can book things like when somebody comes to book a content coaching call with me, I have, you know, a calendar set up on it. There's so many options, but let's pretend we want to sell a digital product that we created. So we're going to click on sell a digital product and it's going to pull up and it's going to look like this. You will see there's an option for a button and that's what it would look like over here. There's an option for a call out or there's an option for a preview. I typically use call out, but you can use button. It doesn't matter. It's, this is your store. So your personal preference there. All right. Now to get started, we need to add an image 
if you already have an image of a product you want to use, you can click on it and upload it, or you can do choose image. So you can, again, upload your own image if you have one. If you don't, let's pretend that we are doing a Disney guide. Let's see if we type in Disney, if anything comes up. Oh my gosh, look at all that. So you scroll through, pick one you like. Let's go with that. You can toggle it around, crop it the way you want, and hit crop. And then it's going to pop it in here, and that's going to be your image. So easy. So we're going to come in, put in a title, so it could be um, Disney Travel Guide. Okay. You can change it to say whatever you want it to say. We will deliver this file right to your inbox exclamation mark download now I typically change mine to say click here and then you can hit next and it'll take you to the next step or you can come up here and click on the next step again choose your image whatever image you want I'm gonna go with the first one for the sake of speed now you can see whatever you put in over here on the left is what's going to show over here on the right on your sandstorm preview so we can put, get my Disney guide here, right? Now this is a cool feature. You can do generate with AI if you don't really know what you're gonna say, but we can just say practice. Pretend we're typing in lots of important details that tell the person all about this product. Now this is one of my favorite things about um, Steam Store is let's say I know that this product is going to be $40 but for right now I want to offer it at a discounted price. I can type in my normal price that I'm eventually going to sell it at and come click on this little toggle and then I can say but for this week I want to sell it for $20 and I type that in and then look at what it does over here. It shows my normal price marked down to the discount price. So you can add in a custom review if you want. Just click on it and type it in. Again, you can change this to say whatever you want. Click here. Call to action, same thing. You can change all of these. It's completely customizable. You could upgrade and then you get even more options. I haven't done that. And you can click next. And again, it's gonna take you to the next step, right? That easy. So. Here's where I want you to make sure you follow. If this is a document that I have saved in like, let's say a PDF format, then I wanna upload it here, right? I'm gonna click upload and we'll just pretend that it's this, this product right here. And now you see, whoop, it popped up over here and it says this will be delivered to your inbox. So when that person comes here and they pay, Stansworth's gonna send this whatever we loaded to their email, okay? Now, let's pretend that you didn't want to send them this and the product that you're sending them to is, let's say a course that they're accessing. In that case, you would do redirect to URL and you would put in the URL. Right, and you can have it say whatever you wanted to say me there so you would put in the URL right there and save that and when you save that and they purchase and they pay and they click it what it's gonna do is it's gonna send them to that URL that website so you have two different options with that you have this little options tab up here too where you can go in and you can do email flows um, affiliate share confirmation emails like there's so many stinking options in here I love Stan Store, but that one's that easy. So it's gonna tell me I can't save it because I didn't put in all the information right, and that's fine. Now let's go back to store, and we are going to, uh, I'm gonna delete this section and just in case anybody's actually on my Stan Store right now. <laughs> all right, we hit add product again, and then I'm gonna kind of just show you guys a different way that you can do it. So let's say that the person is 
I want to send them to, um, let's see my referral code for System.io because I love System.io, right? So I could click on external link and I can put in my picture of whatever, my System.io picture. And I can say something like get free System.io account. Here, visit my affiliate link. And then you can have click me, right? Super easy. Now come up here and you see this little URL. You click on it. And then again, I would paste in my affiliate code, my URL. I think mine's like, you know, whatever, www.systemy.io slash the mega affiliate mom or something like that. And then you just hit publish and it's that easy. So you can see over here, this is what it would look like. They would come here. Oh yeah, I want a free system IO. They click on that. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna direct them to the URL that is a, that's your affiliate code, which that's a good, good thing. Even though it's a free account, again, you're still getting credit because they see that you're pushing people to them. Um, and you want that, you want them to know like, Hey, I love your product and yes, I'm sending people to it. And eventually that could end up being something that pays off for you in the long run. But you can see over here, I'm not going to open some of this because it does have personal information for the people who've purchased from me, but you have referrals, appointments, audience, analytics. That's really nice. Um, I would encourage anybody who's in digital marketing, always check your analytics that's a really good way for you to kind of figure out where do I need to pivot? Where do I need to shift? Always check your analytics. And that's not just for systems that you're using. That's also for social media platforms. Uh, when you're noticing like, okay, when I do this type of thing, I'm not getting any engagement. Maybe don't do that type of thing, right? So anywho, that's it. Stansor is easy. It's simple. It's my absolute favorite. I know that not everybody has it. Try it out. Get the free trial. If you use the link that I attached, it helps me out, but it also gives you a free trial. So try it. If you don't love it, which you will, at least try it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop off of here, and then I need to go do another one of these for Canva.